Hello friends, welcome to a new week, a new weekly vlog, and a new opportunity to get a bunch of reading done. So my name is Kat, welcome to my channel, and I'm really big on reading sci-fi and fantasy books, so hopefully, hopefully you'll stick around. This week and this month in general, I am participating in Spookopoly by Becca in the Books. So this is a game-based reading readathon where you have a board, you roll for prompts every time you read a new book, and you just have to like pick something based off the prompt that you land on. So I started it last week, I had two incredible reads, and currently I am on, um, what is it called? King of Pride by Anna Huang, and this was for this prompt about about like crows and feathers and like bird related things. So this has feathers on it and on the cover and I decided to go with this one. It's basically a billionaire slash bartender romance. He's this like really uptight billionaire who's trying to get the CEO vote for his company. So right now he's under scrutiny. He's very like prim and proper, can't have any scandals. And then she is a very fun loving, very fun loving and like full of energy bartender who just like is at the moment really intent on writing an erotic thriller. So they're just like very, very different people, very different lifestyles and very different personalities. So it's described as kind of like an opposites attract type romance. So far it's like really okay. I really don't have much more to say than it's it's fine. It's just like your basic kind of smutty romance book. And yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. I'm 30-ish percent into that one and definitely going to be trying to read considerably more of it and get it done hopefully pretty soon. But but yeah, that's where I'm starting this week off and where we are at the moment. So I hopefully will be able to get that done pretty quick and roll some more because I am deeply enjoying this like rolling for prompts kind of thing. Like I didn't expect that I would enjoy this so much of like really not knowing what my next read will be, but I am having a blast and welcome to a week in the life. I'm so intensely tired this week and like I genuinely have no idea no idea why it's just like I am really struggling to get anything done and I noticed it last week too um so I'm really just wondering if this is like it's a new season it's definitely like so much darker in the morning so I'm really struggling to get out of bed so I'm kind of wondering if that's part of the issue and we're just coming back to from finishing up a long weekend, which I did think would help with this exhaustion just because like we didn't really have that many plans. I was hoping that I'd be able to relax and recharge and everything, but honestly, if anything, I just feel more tired, <laughs> which I really just don't understand. I think this is just like, it's fall. I My body is not doing well with like, it just being so dark and so cold all the time right now, but I am definitely finding it a struggle to read at the moment because <laughs> literally just all I want to do is sleep. I did just get an exciting book package in, so one second actually. So one thing to know about me is that I am very, very addicted to book subscription boxes and I really have no self-control when it comes to them. So I signed up for a new one, which is the Aardvark Book Club book box. I've been following them for so long on Instagram now and a lot of their choices were okay, but I wasn't 100% committed to, to actually signing up to it. But I really, really like their choices for this month, so I decided I might as well go for it. So one sec, let me get this open. Okay, so I do really, really like, I like their packaging. I think it's really pretty. So I guess this is their one year anniversary and these are all the books that they've had every month. So I'm actually interested to go through and see like if I do, if I do like their selections that they've had every month. And yeah, this is exciting. This is exciting. I think they're a Canadian company too. So I'm really happy with that. And cool. Okay. So I got three books and they sent three bookmarks. Okay. And also again, of course I got three books. I can't control myself with the add-ons. Especially in this case, I think they're only $13, so, you know, I can't, I can't control myself. So, first one I got is Rouge by Mona Wad. I actually have this out from the library right now, but I do want to own a physical copy. It's a horror that's kind of like a commentary on the makeup industry, so I'm really into it. And also, I've wanted to read something by Mona Wad for so long now. Then I have Black Sheep by Rachel Harrison. She does these, like, weird, kind of, like, creepy horror books, but they're, like, more, like, modern 
kind of like urban fantasy horror, I guess, is kind of a weird way to describe it. I read one book of hers which was called Cackle and it was about like modern day witches. So I'm kind of thinking of doing like a taste test vlog because I have this and then I have another book, I think it's about werewolves, checked out from her. And I kind of wanted to do like a little taste test and see how I like all of her books. What is this one about? Um, okay, I have no idea, but it's a horror, so you know, it's good. And the last one I got is A Starter Villain by John Scalzi. Um, the only other one I've read from him is The Kaiju Preservation Society, which was like a very fun, fun kind of sci-fi. It was just like felt very silly and goofy and I like that. And you know, I love this cover. I really love it. I'm not, can't deny that that is a very, very big factor of why I bought it. It's just because I really like the cat vibes. <laughs> Um, okay, so start a villain. What is this about? Oh, so it's a guy whose um, long lost uncle dies and leaves him a super villain business. This feels like it's just gonna be silly and fun, so I'm actually quite excited. And yeah, those. This is a new box I'm gonna try, and I'm very excited with all of these selections that I was able to get. So I just switched over my like little fall perfume shelf and I thought I'd share. Also today for the first time, I decided to do a full face using the Denestra My Denessa Myricks Groundwork Neutrals palette. And I think it turned out interesting. I actually really like the contour shade I use and then I am, I have been liking this on my eyes quite a bit. So I used one of the pomades on my lips too and I'm actually liking the formula, which I wasn't expecting. The only thing I didn't do was my eyebrows because I've been using a gel lately to kind of give them this like fluffy messy look and i'm really enjoying it but yeah let's take a look at my perfumes so next to my van next to my vanity here's my vanity i have a shelf up here with all my perfumes up here is just like a few other miniatures and stuff but this is my primary perfume shelf to go to so starting off i just have some samples here these are just random whatever just kind of like for me to keep going through my sample collection um well, I have a miniature of Tom Ford Black Orchid, which I absolutely love. I think this is such a unique and like, I don't know, like, I would almost describe it as like a moody scent, which is so weird, but like, I find this gives like very angsty, angsty, moody vibes, and I really love it. The only issue is that the full size is like $300, so I think I'm gonna have to buy a dupe when I do run out of this little one. Next, I have Libre by YSL, which is a very powdery lavender, and I didn't think I'd love it, but I'm really, really enjoying it lately. Yes, yeah, so this is just another little tiny one. There's Glossier You, which I don't, it's like almost like a pink pepper kind of like really spicy almost, but like very, very individual scent. And I love wearing this to the office. This is KKW. It was with her collab with Jeff Lethem and One Sec Let Me. So this is the Caramel Orchid scent, which is just a, like a very flowery, flowery, flowery gourmand, which I'm really, I'm really liking. And I really like these gourmand scents more like fall, winter. Next up is another KKW. And I'm actually so sad that her perfume line went out because even though the lasting power wasn't great, I absolutely love her scents. This one is Nude Soleil, which is a really strong, like leathery sandalwood scent and I absolutely love sandalwood. It's always like my go-to perfume, perfume note, so I always just like to have one in rotation. Next up, Chai Eclair by Le Monde Gourmand. This is, it, it literally smells like an eclair, like a pastry, like a really sweet, buttery, chocolatey pastry, and I love it. Like, I love going, I love wearing this one to sleep because it's just like so soft and refreshing. And the final one I have up here is Cloud by Ariana Grande, the classic, you know, always, always have to have this in collection. This one, it's, I'm kind of losing my love for it lately just because I feel everyone wears it. It's like everywhere you go, you smell it, but it's, it's a classic, you know. 
I haven't yet picked out any body sprays or travel perfumes to go up there. So I'm gonna go take a quick look and I thought we could do that together. Okay, so for body sprays, I picked only two. I have Sweet Whiskey by Bath & Body Works, just really classic kind of sweet scent and After Hours by Sol de Janeiro. So this is their newest release and it's Midnight Jasmine and Amber Woods. I definitely think this is more of like a nighttime sexy going out kind of body spray, so could be really good for fall. And then I have my whole thing of travel, travel sprays that we can look at. So off the bat, I know that most of my Skylar scents are going to be a no because pretty much all of these are more summery. There's Cabana Retreat, Garden Party, um, Capri Summer, and then what else do I have? Boardwalk Delight. So I was briefly getting their Skylar, Skylar like scent, um, scent club. It was like a monthly subscription of new and exclusive perfumes. I actually really miss it. It's just like, it was $40 a month. And at the time I couldn't really justify getting a new perfume every month, but I kind of want to go back to it because when you look at all of the perfumes that come out every month, like they look really good. And then there's another one, Citrus Grove, which I will pass on. Um, Floral Street Electric Rhubarb. This is a really nice like green, greens kind of perfume, but not for right now. I think I'll include Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. This is like my going out scent. Every time I go out somewhere nice, this is what I wear. So I kind of like to have it on, on hand. Um, I think I'll do to Dark Rum by Malin and Goats. I think this is a sweeter, yeah, it's sweet, but like a little musky or like has a little bit more of those like darker notes in it. So I haven't really worn this one that much. So I'm definitely interested. And then I have Vanilla Sugar. This is this is from a local perfumery that's just in a small town close to mine. Yeah, it's just like a very sweet vanilla scent. So I'm down for that one. Yeah, it, so the brand is called Wick Witch. Um, it's a Canadian company and I really, really like them. So might as well include another vanilla scent in my in my basket. So those are the perfumes I'm primarily, primarily going to be rotating through for the next like month or two. I like to do this. I like to have a few on hand that are very like the vibe that I'm in at the time because it makes it very easy for me instead of like being paralyzed by choice by how many options I have. I do the same thing with makeup. Like if you're ever interested in seeing like my daily makeup drawers, which is just my vanity, I keep like my makeup drawers here that I rotate every month or every few weeks. Let me know and I can show you guys whenever. And then most exciting news of all, we have a reading update. I finished a book. So last night I finally got around to finishing um, King of Wrath by Anna Huang. And I really liked this. I really, really enjoyed it. It um, is like in the solid three star camp of like, it was fun, wasn't really anything that spectacular though like really wasn't anything exciting or amazing it was just very solid fun romance and I really like these like billionaire romance types of books I just feel like this one didn't really play into that as much as I was hoping it like I like to see these extravagant lives and just like live vicariously through that and I felt like this one it really only had like the work drama not the rich person life but it still felt like pretty solidly in line with all of Anna Wong's other books like it very much the same type of vibe the same you know like the same story idea so I liked it a lot it was very fun but now we are we're gonna go pick another book which is quickly becoming my favorite thing last time we were on the crows and ravens honestly i'm just kind of keeping this out all the time right now so it's very easy for me to grab whenever i need to use it but let's do a roll this is eight one two three four five six seven eight hannibal lecter okay let me pop back when i know what this is Okay, this one says avoid becoming Hannibal Lecter's next snack and read a book with a body part in the title. So I'm a little worried, a little worried to see if I can find something, maybe. Okay, one sec, one sec. I'm gonna go look at my shelf. Okay, I think I found the perfect selection. So I am planning on starting to film a taste test video for this author soon. So might as well actually just dive in and like might as well just start going for it now and get one of the books done. So I'm gonna read Such Sharp Teeth by Rachel Harrison. This is also kind of like a werewolf horror type of book so perfect for the fall season. I think she writes kind of like from the one book I've read and the other but I'm assuming the other ones are. They're kind of like fun campy horror books so set in like modern day societies. Um okay so it's a young woman who is um she hits a large animal on her car and when she gets out to investigate she's attacked and from there she starts to transition slowly into a werewolf so i'm very excited this is perfect because i do also want to read this for another video so we're killing two birds with one stone here so i am very ready to get to this
Hi, so here we are Friday finally. Work week is finally over and I'm like, oh, just so ready. I'm so tired this week. I can't wait to just rest tonight. But I am just under a third into such sharp teeth. Really, really enjoying it. I'm gonna try to finish this tonight, but really fun. Right now, we're just following this woman as she's kind of like coming to this realization that maybe she's turning into a werewolf and it's about to be the first full moon. So she's actually gonna see like if she turns into a wolf or what happens. And I'm really excited to see it. It's nothing like scary or anything. It's just like mildly unsettling. And that's kind of like my ideal spooky type of vibe. So I am liking this a fair amount. And as always, I have a bunch of hauls. So let me start with the books and then we'll move on to the more makeup stuff. So I get a little subscription from my local bookstore or from a small bookstore in Ottawa. And what it is, is every month I get one or two usually new fantasy or sci-fi releases. So I just picked this up yesterday and I'm super excited to see what they included. So there's a little note and I'll start with this to explain the justification of what books I got. Okay, so it's next up for you is two fantasy books both written by Ottawa authors. Both are big hits so far and I think you'll love them. So very excited that when they're fantasy to their local authors and now I'm like I really need to do my next installation of new SFF releases and maybe instead I should do a video of reading Ottawa authors because I do know Amy Lee, she's from here and I know she has a new book coming out soon and then there's another author I forget her name but she wrote the embroidered book and that's apparently really good so maybe I need to do a video just reading Ottawa based authors okay so let's take a look at what books we have so, first off is Curious Tides by Pascal Lasselle yeah she's a French Canadian author from Ottawa Ontario very exciting and oh it's and oh, this is actually a signed copy too, which is super fun. So this is about a student who's, she's a student at a college for lunar magics and it seems like there is some killings that start taking place and she gets involved in, with investigating it. I can't wait. That's so exciting. Definitely the type of book I'd like. Magical school, magical setting. I always love that. And book number two. This is A Broken Blade by Melissa Blair. Okay. And in this one, we are following a girl who is the king's favorite assassin. So I am very, very excited for this. It is also an indigenous author who is half based out of Ottawa, so perfect. And let's see if there's anything else in this bag. Sometimes they include other things. And there are two stickers. So there's bookish people are my kind of people. And well, this seems like just, it's a book stack of all kinds of romance tropes. So there's like slow burn, dark romance, enemies to lovers, pro forced proximity, very cute. So as always, I'm so incredibly excited that I got this subscription. I love supporting local. I love supporting like small bookstores. So very, very excited about this one. All right, and next looks. Let's take a look at my most recent Sephora order. Why not? So I did put this order in entirely because I wanted to get a restock of my retinol eye cream. This is one of my favorites, I guess. Always, I always like to use a retinol eye cream because I find I'm definitely starting to get some wrinkles there and this kind of helps it. Um, and yeah, I lost my last one during the move, so might as well. And then that was like the main reason that spurred this because my partner also asked me to to stock up on that for us. Um, then I got him a charcoal nose strip. Nothing super exciting. And the most the most fun part is I got this. Um, it is what is it? Mistletoe Glow Blush Tape and Glow Tape Set by Tarte. So it's two highlighters and two other blushes. Like they're the kind of like Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury dupe things that they came out with. So I'm excited to give these a try. I decided to just pick them up now instead of waiting for the sale. Just honestly to make slightly less painful when I do my sale order because right now my, my bag's at like $600. So yeah, decided to just pick one thing up. And then the rest of this is just like little samples. So I have an air dry, air dry cream from Bubble and Bumble. Then a little mini of Madagascar Vanilla by Nest. It's their perfume oil. I really, really, this is gonna be tiny. 
yeah but i really i really like this one just i like vanilla scents in general so i really like that and then two perfume samples so chloe i think oh it's rose tangerine oh that sounds interesting and very good girl by carolina herrera so that's just my little sephora order and then i have one pr thing and this is just from it cosmetics so what is this okay so this it is their new bye bye dark spot concealer that's two percent niacinamide okay so it's just a little concealer that just came out i think the shade match should be fairly good so excited to give this a try Hi, welcome to Sunday. Oh my god. So I just got back from a morning at a pumpkin patch with friends, which was super fun. Yeah, we just did like some mazes. We did a haunted house, which even though it was for children, I found way too scary. So, you know, I'm not a I'm not a scary person. I don't enjoy the scary things. Um, but yeah, I am here. But yeah, um, I didn't really do a ton of reading the last few days, but I did finish Shut, Set Sharp Teeth. I enjoyed it. I'm not really going to talk about it too much here because I am going to have a video where I dive more in depth about this. But basically I'm done and I'm now going to pick my next book. I'm going to try to get a little bit of that read today and then we'll see how much, we'll see if I can finish another book today before I finish off the vlog. I doubt it because I do have like a few other things to do. Like I need to organize my life a bit, clean, meal prep, um, and just like get ready for the new week to come. So we'll see what I can get done of this. I'm not expecting very much or not this we'll see what i can get done of my next book i'm not expecting very much but i guess that just depends on what i do end up picking so i'm gonna go do my next roll all right i am here over on the hannibal lecter thing and i'll do a little roll so 12 okay all right two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, so a TBR veteran. So this is just basically something that's been on the TBR forever and has been sitting there for quite some time. So I'll take a look and be right back with you. I feel like I may mildly be cheating on this option because it is something that I've had checked out from the library for like two months. So I'm going to consider it a bit of a veteran in that sense that I've just had it checked out for so long. But this did only come out this year. So technically it hasn't been on my TBR that long, but I'm considering it a veteran just because it's been sitting on my library TBR shelf for so long now and I just want to get it done. And that is Laura Olympus Volume 4. So this is a Hades Persephone retelling taking place in like kind of a modern, modern still, but still mystical land. Um, it's a graphic novel. This is a series that like really doesn't shy away from like stronger topics like domestic violence or sexual assault. So it is very intense at times, but I do really, really enjoy it. And this is definitely going to be one that I can very quickly finish today, which is a big plus for it. So I'm going to start reading this. I really like, have no doubt that this will take no time at all, but I'm excited. I'm really excited to get to it. Okay, so 
I finished it. It's a four star. I just really love the artwork. I love the story. This one's interesting. It, um, Hades, Hades and Persephone have reached this point where they decided not to date each other, but they're still, like, really drawn to each other and really, like, can't seem to get each other out of their heads. And it's just, it was, this was a nice installation. I really liked it. And it's going to be a four star read for me. So, you know, I actually ended up getting that done very quickly. So I'm feeling like I can do another roll and maybe get a good progress in another book done. So I'm really hoping so because I'm feeling really good today. I'm feeling like I'm on a very good roll for getting stuff done. So let's go see what my next book will be. All right, again, here we were and we will do our roll. So we have seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the not spooky, but spoopy, <laughs> which uh, okay, I have to go double check what that one means again. But yeah, I did misspell it on here because I thought that Becca just bent spooky twice. But anyways, let's go see. Okay, so this like spoopy thing that is there. So it's for spooky books, well like spooky books, but not scary. So it has like the spooky Halloween vibes, but nothing about it is actually scary. This one might might take me a moment to find something for, because I think maybe a thriller, maybe I could do, maybe I could do a thriller for this one. Yeah, actually, you know what? Why not? Let's do a thriller. Let's do... Let's do this one, uh, Good Bad Girl by Alice Feeney. Um, this is her newest release, so yeah, why not? Let's give this one a go. So we're later on in the day. I haven't really made much progress on the book Good Bad Girl. I've made like 20-ish pages, but I am going to be closing off the vlog here. So yeah, it's the end of the day and I don't really anticipate that'll be getting much more reading done. I don't really anticipate that'll be getting much more reading done, so we're gonna finish it off here and I'll continue on reading this one in the next week's video. So I was definitely hoping to get more reading done this week than I did. I think life's just been like super busy lately and I am doing, I'm trying to film some reading for other videos, which I haven't really been talking about in these, but I am right now working on, um, like reading seven thrillers in seven days and also a horror reading vlog so that's been kind of taking up a bit of my time too plus works insane at the moment but I'm definitely hoping that next week I'll be able to get more reading done hopefully and as always if you haven't already please consider subscribing and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one bye